Okay, this is an RC circuit problem. We have a circuit with a battery, a switch, two resistors, and a capacitor. The problem is asking us to find the voltage on the capacitor. The instant the switch is closed, the voltage on the resistor 1. The instant the switch is closed, on resistor 2 at t equals 0 when the switch is closed and then voltage on resistor 1 long time after closing the switch resistor 2 a long time after the switch is closed and voltage on the capacitor long time after the switch was closed also our capacitor initially was uncharged okay voltage on the capacitor at t0 when we close the switch i've also by the way put the description of the problem below the video in case you want to write it down so you can see it better okay part a voltage on the capacitor at t equals zero well the capacitor is uncharged at t equals zero therefore we know that q equals zero now using this formula we can solve for v yeah. from here we can see q over c q is zero therefore voltage on the capacitor will be zero volts now part b the voltage on resistor one this one up here we're gonna use the outer loop like this and we're gonna go clockwise we're gonna use the loop rule so let's start here that gives us plus emf as we go around Vol minus voltage on our resistor one we keep going minus voltage on the capacitor equals zero this one we already know is zero these two are the only things left so voltage on resistor 1 equals EMF and our EMF is 12 volts there you go on part B now voltage on resistor number 2 on this one at T0 our capacitor has no charge on it so R1 and R2 are parallel, so they should be the same. So let's find out. Now we're gonna use a loop, but we're gonna use this loop, just the left loop. We're gonna go clockwise again. So we have plus EMF minus the voltage drop on R2 equals zero so v r2 equals our emf which is 12 volts there you go the, since the capacitor is with charge zero there's no voltage drop over it so the only thing doing voltage drop is v a voltage drop on r1 and on r2 Okay, the voltage across R1 a long time after the switch was closed. At this time, the Q on our capacitor is fully charged. So therefore, it's not increasing or decreasing, not doing anything. It's a constant. So Q is constant. Applying this formula. 
the current on the capacitor if we derivative of dt of the q this will give us a zero so current on the capacitor is zero as it should be as we know it that when the capacitor is full of charge there's no more current passing through it and this is the mathematical description of it so now on the resistor one resistor one is in series with the capacitor therefore it will be the same current so i or one will be the same as i c which is zero amps now we know the current using v equals i r we know that i is zero therefore uh, this is v v r one since this is zero v r one equals zero volts okay voltage on resistor two after a long period of time here we can use this loop again the left side we're going to go clockwise positive emf minus the voltage drop on r2 and this is everything so equals zero and therefore voltage drop on r2 equals our emf which is 12 volts and as we can see the voltage drop on r2 is unaffected by the change of what's happening in this area now the voltage drop on the capacitor after a long time we're gonna do the outer loop again we're gonna go clockwise let's write up plus emf minus the voltage drop on r1 minus voltage drop on the capacitor and that's it so it's equals to zero and here from our previous calculation voltage drop on r1 we know it's zero therefore this goes to zero we have only these two terms left so voltage drop on the capacitor equals our emf which is 12 volts and there you go and that would be the whole problem